Okay, welcome back to the tutorial that I'm doing about how to color a drawing on GIMP. Okay, so in the first video, we successfully, hopefully, um, got a line art into GIMP, and we separated the black and put it on its own separate transparent layer. Here's the two layers there. All right, now first of all, what I want to do, I forgot to say this at the end of the last video, and I probably should have, go to File, Save As, and save your drawing as something. Now I already have it as that. Make sure, make sure this is very, very important that XFC, XCF is your extension. That's a GIMP file, and that'll ensure that you're going to be able to come and color it um, and edit it later. Okay, so once you have that, save it. Yeah, yada. Okay, and wait for a second until it saves. All right, very good. Now we are going to start coloring. So first of all, go up to image and make sure this says RGB because if it's in grayscale, it'll be in black and white, and that is totally no fun. So make sure it's in RGB. Then next, here's your little colors. Yours should look like probably something like that. Um, to change your colors, you want to click on that, and it'll come up with this. You can edit it, do whatever you want. Find a good skin color. I'm going to just go with my generic one. I think that's it that I have set. Um, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. And then once you have your color, you can click OK, and it should come up right there. You can switch between your background and foreground color by hitting this little arrow thing there. So you want to make sure this is on top, and then go to the Fill Bucket tool. You can go into her face and make sure you're on this layer, not the background. If you're on the background, what'll happen is it'll just fill the entire thing, which will, for one thing, take forever, and for another thing, that's not what we want. We want to fill in her skin. Okay, so just hit Control Z. All right, so go up to the line art, copy instead. First of all, duplicate this so you have a nice clean version of your line art to use later. Go down to the middle one and start filling in the skin. Now you want to get all the little parts. Um, I'm going to do that in a second, but first of all I'm going to show you down here. Say I want to try to do this arm. If I try to do it now, there's no line connecting it, so it'll just fill in that whole area. So what I want to do is I want to go in. This is just a little technique I've developed. You can probably think up something better, but I'm going to hide this layer by clicking the little eye just to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to get my pencil tool and make sure I'm on a nice round brush. You should have these under your um, basic GIMP brush set. I have a lot of other ones just because I've had GIMP for a while. Um, but So you go in and you click there, and then you can hit shift and drag it out. Um, a straight line should form until you click again, and then it should stop. Oh, what happened? All right, uh, yeah, it's kind of too small to see, I think. Oh, no, I did it on the background. All right, haha, -ha, stupid me. All right, make sure you're on the right layer. Click shift drag and click again and you can see there's a little hairline there that connects those two lines and now you can't see it once we have the background because it's white as well but when you go in to fill it then it should be fine one other thing I'm gonna do before I go in and fill everything else in is her eyes and as you can see I filled in around those but usually eyes have um, a white part around the iris so what we want to do is make that so Go in and get your um, pencil tool again. Click and drag and just make a little bit of a rounded curve around her eyes to use as that white area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine usually aren't. I just do this really fast. Just it, It's a nice little tip um, and it makes it look a little bit more professional. And once you're done, you can just use the fill tool to fill those in. And there you have it. Okay, now I am going to okay zoom out again. I'm going to fill in the rest, but I'm going to pause the video while I do that, and you should probably do the same and fill in yours. So here we go. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, um, I colored in all those areas peach, and you want to make sure. See, I got all the little areas. Now, if I missed a little spot or like two pixels, it's probably not going to make that big of a difference. But you want to be as precise as possible just to make sure your drawing looks nice. Okay, so once I have this, um, it looks pretty good, and I'm going to save it, in fact. Do Control s to save if you've already made up a name for your drawing, um, just to make sure I have all my stuff saved. But now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it lacks dimension. You know, it looks really two-dimensional. So what I'm going to do to kind of, you know, make it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more professional, is I'm going to add some shadows in there. So first of all, I want you to go to your brush um, dialog here, and I forgot to tell you before, the way you open that is doing Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and Brushes. That's how you open all dialogs. So, if you go there, get a nice fuzzy one. There should be some of those, or you can make one by doing New Brush and customizing it. Now go to your Burn 
right there, this little black thing, and make sure it's on burn and mid tones. And you want to go in, zoom in a little bit, and using that, just go around and click and add some nice little highlights. Um, as you can see, it's nothing too dramatic. If you want to go for dramatic, you want to do um, burn highlights because that'll make it nice and black for you. But for this drawing, I'm just going to do um, the mid-tones and just make it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more. Um, just like she could be standing outside or, you know, in the sunlight. So I'm going to get some under her hair. Just do logical places where you probably find highlights. If you don't know where to find highlights, then you can look in a mirror or look at a picture, another picture. Um, I have a lot of drawing references I used from I used from other artists um, when I'm doing highlights just to see how they did it and helps you improve and just yeah it's actually pretty easy just wherever you know the highlight would go wherever the light would not be able to shine alright so once you've got some of those highlights in there you want to zoom out and you always want to do this and just see if that it looks okay because sometimes it can look totally different when you're zoomed in than when it zooms than when you're zoomed out I'm gonna fix a couple things um, and yeah so now let me fix that up okay now, as you see, I switched to dodge. This is good for adding highlights or correcting errors you made with burn. So when you switch to dodge, this is the same thing but adding highlights. So you can go in and maybe where there'd be some highlights on her fingers or her cheeks. Um, you can add those in. Okay, it looks pretty good, in my opinion. If you want to go in, um, do some more stuff, play around. Um, that's what this is really all about. So yeah, there you go. If you want to go on to the next video, um, We'll start talking about hair and also do the ears.